Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this interesting exponential math problem without using calculator and without any rough work? Look at this problem. This problem looks very simple, which is 300 raised to power 6 minus 200 raised to power 6. But it is not very simple as it looks. It is a very bigger problem. It gives him an answer not in millions and billions. It gives him an answer in trillions. So how can we solve this math problem? Here first of all we can write these two powers as 300 raised to power 6 where 6 can be written as 3 times 2 which is 6 minus 200 raised to power 6 can be written as 3 times 2. Now here in both the numbers we will use an exponential identity a raised to power m times an identity. So here we will use this one identity in both the terms. A raised to power m times n, it can also be written as a raised to power m or raised to power n. So using this identity here, this these two numbers will become this will become 300 raised to power 3 whole square minus and this will become 200 raised to the power 3 whole square so look at both the numbers both the numbers are in square form there is square so there is also square so here we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square identity so here in this step we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b so using this identity here our a is 300 cube and our b is 200 cube so this number will become this will become 300 cube minus 200 cube times 300 cube plus 200 cube and we will try to find out the value of 300 cube and 200 cube. So first we will find out the value of 200 cube and then the value of 300 cube. So therefore we can write these two numbers as 200 cube. Now what is the value of 2 cube? The value of 2 cube is simply 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. And here there are two zeros so we will write these two zeros three times. So this will become there will be six zeros so it gives him eight million so the value of 200 cube is eight million now we will find out the value of 300 cube so with the same way we can find out the value of 300 cube what is the value of 3 cube 3 cube is simply 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 so this is 27 and again we will write these two zeros six three times so there will be six zeros so this gives him 27 million. Now here we will replace these two numbers with these two values 8 million and 27 million. So this number will become its value is 27 million. So it's become 27 million minus the value of 200 cube is 8 million. Add followed by six zero, zeros. Now, now we'll add these two numbers, these two values. So this will become twenty-seven million plus eight million. Now let's subtract and add these two numbers. So this will become here. There are six zeros, so there are six zeros, so there will be six zeros. So we will subtract only eight from this one number. So 27 minus eight gives him 19. So this will become 19 followed by six zeros. So the subtraction of these two numbers gives him 19 million. Now we'll add these two numbers. So again, there are six zeros and there are six zeros. So these two groups will be the same. We will add only these two numbers. So this will become 35 followed by 6 zeros so this will become 35 million 
Now we have to multiply these two numbers without using any rough work and without any calculator. So how can you multiply these two numbers? Here we will use this number as the same and we will change this number to the sum of place values of 3 and 5. So next we can write this number as here this 19 million will be the same times and we can write this number as the sum of place value of 3 which is 30 million. This is the place value of 5 which is 5 million. Here we will multiply this number with these two numbers. So first we multiply this number with 30 million and then with 5 million. So it is very simple here. This number times this number is we have to multiply this number with this. So this number times 0 is 0. So this will become 0. This number times 0 is 0. There are 6 zeros, so there will be 6 zeros. Next, we have to multiply this number with 0. This number times 3 is, we have to multiply this number with 3. So, we multiply 3 with this number. So, first we multiply 3 with these 6 zeros. So, there will be 6 zeros. So, this will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, we have to multiply 3 with 19. So, 3 times 9 is 27. So, this will become 7. 2 is carried. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So this gives him 570. Now here the product of these two numbers gives him 570 trillion because this is the group of hundreds, thousands, millions, billions and trillions. So this gives him 570 trillion. Plus, now we multiply this number with 5 million. So again, multiplying this number, we will start from the 1's position. So this number times 0 is 0. So this will become 0. This number times 0 is 0. There are 6 zeros, so there will be 6 zeros. No, we have to multiply this number with 5. So, multiplying 5 with this number, there are 6 zeros. So, again, we will write 6 zeros here. No, we have to multiply 5 with 19. So, 5 times 9 is 45. So this will become 5, 4 is carried. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. So, this gives him 95 trillion. Now finally, we have to add these two numbers. So that will be our final answer. Now to add these two numbers, we will start from the ones position. So here, there are four groups of zeros, which are only zeros. So we will write these four groups of zeros as the same. So this will become, this is one group, this is second group, this is third group, this is fourth group, now we will come to the fifth group, the group of trillions. So here, 5 plus 0 is 5, this will become 5. 9 plus 7 is 16, so this will become 6, when we carry it to the next digit, next is 5. So 5 plus 1 is 6, so this is 6. So finally, 665 trillion is our answer and value of this interesting exponential math problem.